Okay, today I want to talk about storage. More importantly, how to fix low storage on your Amazon Fire device, whether that's a Fire Stick, Fire Stick Lite, Cube, whatever it is, Fire TV. This will work on all of them. I'm going to give you six, six, six options how to free up space on your device. So here we are, it's the brand new interface. It's, this will work if you've got the other interface as well, so no need to worry about that. It's the exact same process. I'm going to start from the easiest to the hardest in terms of uh, ease of use, I guess. So this is the easiest way to increase storage. The first thing you have to do is you have to go into your settings and then you want to go into manage installed applications. Now, how you do that is go into applications first and then go down to manage installed applications down at the very bottom here. And you'll notice that I've got 859 megabytes of free space available. Now let's see if we can increase that. So 859, remember 859. So we're going to manage installed applications. And the first one, as I said, it's the very, very simplest one is if you look at the bottom, we've got some cache here. Now, this doesn't involve getting rid of any apps. It just involves getting rid of the cache. The cache is just temporary files that are stored that help you load up your app a little bit quicker. Now, if you don't use the app very often, then let's get rid of the, the, the cache because next time you open it up, it will just install the cache back in. So we don't need it there all the time. How do we do that? Just pick one that has got cache on it, select it, and then what we want to do is go down and clear cash simple as that click on it and we have cleared the cash now what i'm going to do i'm going to do that for every single one of my apps and then get back to you as you see there's a few that i've got some cash there on them and i'm just going to delete them all and then come back to you right so here we are as you can see i don't have any cash at all in any of my apps because i've just uh Deleted the whole of cash. Right. So now I've got 0 0.93 available. So we've increased it a little bit, just a little bit, almost a gig. Right. Next thing we can do is we can actually delete some apps that we don't want. That's the next option. Again, it's really, really simple to do. So all we have to do is click on something. I'd love to get rid of that. That's hopefully. I'm going to get rid of IMDB TV because I can't use it in this country, in the UK, and we can't get rid of it. Why it's on there is a mystery. It's taking up space. I want to get rid of it. So let's get see if we can get rid of Facebook Watch. Yes, we can. Now, before we just uninstall it, clear data first. I'll always advise clear cache, clear data first. Whether it makes a difference or not, I don't know, but I want to clear the data first and then I can uninstall the app. So let's just do that. Are you sure? Yes. And then you just repeat the process for any apps that you do not want on your device. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna get rid of this. So I'm just gonna clear data first. And then I'm going to uninstall. Okay, so that's me installed all the apps that I want. Let's go and see how much that has improved it by. I've now got 1.35 gig available, which is excellent, 1.35. Started off with 859 or 860, now we're at 1.35, so we've increased quite a lot. Okay, third option is install ES File Explorer, and that's available on the App Store. And it's completely free. It's not, you don't have to pay for anything, although it does say it'll ask you if you want to pay, but you really don't have to pay for it, right? So let's go into search and just put in ES. And then it is ES File Explorer. Let's install that. I actually already got it there. And we just install it. Here we go. I already own it. Let's get it installed. Okay, and let's open it up. Now, it'll come up. Do you want to agree to storage permission? Yes, we have to agree to that. Allow, yes, have to allow that. And agree and continue. Right, this is a bit we do not need. 
We don't need to restore. We don't need to file free trial. Just go up to the little X at the very top of the screen and click on that. Make sure you X out. And here we are. So some of these will use the premium. It will ask you to update, uh, to upgrade. Uh, and that namely is, I think it's the cleaner and the analyzer. And I think that's it, really. Okay, so this is where we can delete music, movies, apps, all these kind of things, right? Um, I don't have any music on it. So, but if you did, you could uh, delete some music that you've got on it if you do not need it or use it. If I go into movies, again, you might have downloaded some movies. I don't, so maybe that's a way you can delete something, but let's give me something that I can delete. I go into apps. This is where all your apps will be. Right, there's one that's crying out at me there, and it is this IMDB. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and uninstall this. So how I do that is I highlight it and I long press on this little button here, the main button, which I've just done there. And then I want to get down to the very bottom where it, uh, it says uninstall. So you just click all the way down to the bottom and then to the right, highlight the uninstall. I'm going to click on that. Replace this app with the factory version. All data will be reviewed, removed. I'm just going to say yes. I don't use it. I don't want it. it says uninstall is complete. I don't know. I hopefully I've got rid of it because I really do not want it. So that's another way of getting rid of any apps that you don't want. Another thing that you can do is go to this bit here, the user apps, what I've got highlighted there, click on that. And if you go down to all APKs, click on that and it'll, there's, these are all the install files that you need to, that you need to install APKs. Now you don't need them. Once it's installed, you can delete it. You'll never need them again. So I'm just going to install that one that I've got there. You might have many more than that, but I'm just going to, again, long click on it until you get the click, the tick. Go down to the very bottom and then go along to delete and click on delete. Now this will probably move to the recycle bin. We don't want that. So we want to uncheck move to recycle bin. We just want it to go straight into oblivion. We just want rid of it. So let's click on OK. And there we go, deleted file successfully. Another thing you can do is go into your recycling bin. If you want to go up here, click on that. There might be files in that recycling bin that you can delete. And again, just use the same processes as I've showed you there. Long press and then click on delete, or you can just do clear all at the very bottom there. So there we go. I wouldn't advise uninstalling any Amazon apps because who knows what will go wrong with your device and uh, it's best to leave well, and uh, well alone. I get asked that all the time, but yes, they are there and most of them can't be uninstalled anyway. So best just to leave well alone, to be honest with you. Okay, the fourth way you can get rid of storage is through your downloader. If you use downloader, uh, there's a, a method that you can use with downloader uh, that you can um, sorry, I'm just going to throw a bit here, that you can uninstall any of the APKs that you've got that you may have installed through Downloader. So we just, let's just load up Downloader and you want to go to Files. Click on Files and there you go. You may have APKs in there. That's another way of getting rid of all your APK files uh, that you have got your installation APK files that you have used that you might not have deleted without not knowing. Maybe you've tried to delete them and it hasn't deleted. That's another way of deleting them. I don't have any in it, but if there was, was any there, you just highlight them and let's delete them. So that's just another way of getting rid of those pesky APK files that you don't ever need. The fifth option is we're getting towards the kind of nuclear button option on your Fire Stick. It's a little trick. I've learned it from a couple of YouTubers, so I can't actually take credit for it, but it's supposed to free up space. So let's see if it actually does free up space. What we have to do is deregister our device. Uh, so we go into account profile and settings, and then the Amazon account, you have to click on that. And then we just simply click on deregister. Don't worry, none of your files will get deleted. You're just deregistering uh, your device from your name. 
as I say, it's just telling you there it's deregistered and you won't lose any content. So let's just click on deregister. Right, and here we go. I'm not going to lie, that takes maybe a couple of minutes. Um, we come to this account here and all we have to do is have an account, sign in, sign into your account. That's all we have to do. And here we go. So let's go back into my account and then we'll see if that has actually increased any of the storage at all. I've got no idea if this is actually going to work. So let's see. Let's go back into our settings and manage applications. We've now got 1.88. It has increased by half a gig. Amazing. So it does actually work. So there you go, I've actually managed to increase the storage by over a gig, which is pretty, pretty good to be honest with you, uh, considering there's only five gig available to start off with. Now, I did mention there's going to be six. The sixth option is the nuclear option, basically, and as that is to reset it to factory settings. It means you'd lose all your apps, all your data, but all you would basically be left with a blank slate and you can install what you want. Uh, it's something that I do every so often, maybe every couple of years, and it does get rid of a lot of clutter, and it's the best way to do it. Uh, and how you do that is, I'm not going to do it myself because I don't want to, is you go into settings, and you go into My TV, I'm fairly sure, I haven't done it for a while, and it's at the very bottom. There you go, reset to factory defaults, you just click on it and follow the instructions and that is your nuclear option so there you go hope you found that informative if you did please smash a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this i have got another video coming up for an alternative to the es file explorer if you are interested in that it is uh, much more in depth and it's 100 percent free none of this premium version and it does pretty much everything that your ES, es file explorer does so if you're interested in that please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications hope you're all well i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Bye bye